got one. Yeah, looks like a nice pro. Oh, holy, holy moly. This is a, uh, a football. Perfect. That's, uh, that's it. Yeah, that'll do. Yeah. Bring, it, bring that line in. Bring it in. He looks like. Is that another fish? Oh, yeah. Good morning and welcome back to Tightlining Maryland. I am in PA. I am fishing with PA Woods and Water. Uh, I'll even give you a little bit of a prelude because I didn't realize this until I uh, started fishing. This is actually about an hour into the trip, but uh, I bumped into Osney Fishing Adventures. So, you know, it's the three of us kind of uh, spearheading this uh, Yellow Breaches stream today. We are fishing down kind of above the Allenberry section of the yellow breaches i've never fished here before um, i'm going to be using my tight line setup which is again a 10 foot syndicate uh, three weight love that rod it's matched with a lampson liquid uh, four or five weight reel and you know using the mono system that uh, you guys can check out any video uh, that i've done on it which i've done two of so we're going to be using a mop fly and then about 12 to 18 inches up a hair's ear. So it's gonna be our you know, style today. Um, hopefully we're gonna net a few fish, maybe get into um, a different section where there's some wild fish and some stock fish up above. I think generally speaking where I'm at is very limited wild fish with a lot of stockies. But I'm gonna fish this first, try to get into a few, and then ultimately head to uh, some of the upper sections and get into some of those wild fish. So thanks for tuning back in. Um, sorry for the delay between videos. It's been a uh, busy fall, but I appreciate the support and hope you enjoy. So I'm out here fishing with uh, PA Woods and Water, my buddy Scott. We were able to, uh, to link up here on this holiday weekend. Well, week, I guess it is. So it's Monday the 23rd and we're uh we're fishing the yellow breeches and it's a stream that i've fished before but never in this section so we're tight lining it as usual using my 10 foot syndicate three weight and right now i've got on a mop fly mop fly and a uh, pheasant tail so trying to get into a couple probably put on an egg pattern today at some point probably should have started with that to be honest but We'll see. Definitely seen trout. I almost stepped on three. But it is cold today. When I uh, was driving, coming from Maryland, the temperature was generally in the 30s. I hit PA, it started dropping into the 20s. And by the time that I got to the exit and off of it, I mean, it was, it was 21. So, chilly day. It is supposed to get up to, if I'm not mistaken, around 45 maybe even 50 degrees so i do think it will turn into a decent day but for now it is just uh it's gonna be tough sledding so fishing is not gonna be easy Yeah, looks like a nice brown. Real nice brown. Said it looks like a very nice brown.
Tell you what, this guy's giving me a good fight. in a spot where I stung some nice fish before. Owen's downstream of me. Both fishing nymphs trying to get down to the bottom and get some of these wild browns. Just roll casting up. Trying to get to the bottom. Just had a take. The fish came all the way across for me. There's another one. I'm gonna start reading my line a little bit better. There we go. It's about time we stuck one. Luckily, it's one of the nicer ones of the day. Nice and colored up, beautiful. Beautiful brown. I was a little worried we were going to get skunked here today. Gorgeous fish. 11 inches. I didn't think that bow and arrow cast was going to work because the hook set. Sure enough, we're going to land a nice wild brown it looks like. Mm. There we go. That thing fell right out. Pretty fish. Yellow breech is always this though. Nice paddle boards. Let's get you back, bud. Another yellow breech is brownie. Doesn't disappoint. I just was worried that with that bow and arrow cast, the way that I was going to have to set the hook just was not productive for actually lodging it. And that is arguably true. I did not get a good hook set, but I did land the fish. Well, there you go. Tom Rosenbauer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Last place that we're stopping at. A whole different, this is a nice... Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's definitely... Colin, have you ever fished with anything bigger than eight foot? No. You want like to try? Like mean? You want to try? I can give it a shot. I mean, yeah. it's got the same thing on here. You to... It's definitely worth getting used to, but I tell you what, it felt like I was a fish out of water whenever the first time I ever held one of those. I, let's go up here. Right. This looks yeah, beautiful. that's where I stuck my brown, right up in here. There's a palomino right there. Oh, Li wow. Literally where you, yep. Now let's, hey, if there's one fish there, there's probably more there. Correct. No, I didn't try, fish. Try to, throw, try to throw about um about four feet above him. Mm-hmm. He, uh, he ain't going to spook. You could probably get up here even closer. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, you could yeah. get up in the. Well, yeah, it looks like there almost might a be red. more fish closer to us. You're than right. Him. Beautiful cast. There you go. Wish he was moving around a little bit more. Made me think he was eating. But that, 
Oh, okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's a big fish. That's, it is. Yeah, that's a good. <laughs> nice. That's a good. It's at least. 15, yeah, that's what I was gonna say. He's at least yeah. fifteen. Fish, however, you're comfortable with the casted. I mean, I know I told you that, but. Oh, that was something. That was something. Yeah, it's okay. Remember, oh, you're left-handed. Okay, with yeah. your right hand, bring in that slack line as it's coming down to you. Nice straight. Good, nice cast. Bring in that slack line. Keep bringing it in. Keep bringing it in. Watch it. Hold your rod steady. Hold it steady. Got him. Oh, you know what? That's not a fish. Oh, well, it wasn't a fish. I think it was a stick or something. Oh, huh. really? Huh? Yeah, okay, it fought great. Yeah. <laughs> Wild brown stick. Yeah. That's, That's it. That's it. That'll do. Yeah. Bring it. Bring that line in. Bring it in. He looks like. Is that another fish? Oh, yay! Yeah. My guy. <laughs> Get him off the snide. Keep him nice and tight. Watch Keep out, watch out. Down. There you go. Keep it like that. Keep it on your right-hand side. You got more room on your right-hand side. You want me to net him or you got it? Oh, really? There we go. It's not a bad fit. That's a pretty nice fit. Yeah. Now, put the rod on your right-hand side. Right-hand side. Yeah, the other side. Yeah, you got more room. There's trees. Are Keep, Ooh, keep his head down, fish. and They get pretty in here. Wow. There you Look go. at that red stripe. <laughs> that red stripe's legit. Beauty, the fish. You think they There you go. All right, he wants to take some line. You got four X here. No, no, don't let him take it. You don't control the fight. Yeah. You All control right. it. Just keep All his right. head down. Don't let him out. You control the fight. Get your net ready. Yep. There Bring you go. There you up. go. Reel in just a little bit more. Yep. Yep. Keep his head down. Nice. Nice. There you go. You got it. He's Come on the on. ISO. Get him up ahead of you. Big. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, there you go, Owen. Lift him. Lift his head up. Uh, crap. Don't worry. <laughs> there we go. Not good enough to crap. My net it's okay. <laughs> That's a big fish. Yeah, he's probably a solid 15, 16. Oh no, that's bigger than that. I think he's, think? I think he's like 17, 18. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's okay, take your time. Pick the rod. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> Oh my god, that was Good job, man. That's a beautiful fish. That is a beautiful it's fish. It's a wide fish. Yeah, yeah he's I'd a football. He's a good 16. There you go. 16. It looked very much like his, like the size of your brownie. Yeah, boy. yeah. About the size of your brownie. That's a... They, I don't know what it is about this string, because every time I get into well, a rainbow... Yeah, a they are gorgeous. Well, Scott did say it. He said whenever you got a fish that uh, you can see, like a palomino, there's probably a couple others around. Yeah. There we go. We doubled up. Ugh. There we go. Rainbow. Took the glow bug. Thanks a lot, PA Woods and Waters. So, helped me to tie that up so I could use it. There we go. Boom. So the gentleman up ahead of me, he was saying that uh, this was just stocked yesterday, which I did not know that. That was just plain luck, but we'll take it. Sometimes you'd rather be lucky than good any day. All right, beautiful spot right here. Hopefully some more fish to be had. I know that Owen and Scott are doing well up ahead. They've been getting some some fish. Owen's got one and missed one. I've got one, so it was quick success. But right now, just to give you a quick rundown of what we're going to use here on this part of the stream, still using my uh, standard 3x tippet. Uh, I go a little heavier than most, but for me it works, um, and I have no trouble fighting fish as a result. Off of that tag up at the top, again about 12 to 18 inches apart, I'm using a uh, kind of a glow bug. Uh, it's an egg pattern of sorts. And then I'm using not only that tied up by Scott, but I'm also using a what's called Isonychia. Um, and with that said, kind of imitates a large stonefly. I know that technically it imitates a different style of bug, but uh, that combination today has been 
pretty good for Scott, but also it's worked for me. That's what I stuck that, that rainbow on just earlier. So hopeful to get into one or two more before we end the trip here within the, the next hour or so. But we shall see. There we go. Looks like we stuck ourselves wild brown. Oh, just to show you that nice mix of uh, the fish here in this waterway. Let's see. Yep, that's wild brown. Ah, oh, you gotta love it. Love going to places where you can fish for wild and stocked fish all in the same stream. Beautiful fish. Off he goes. Oh, tiny little brown. He went airborne. That's the type where if you set that hook too hard, like I typically do, down he goes. That's a nice fish. There's a palomino in there with it. That's nice as well, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous holdover that took my uh, my Y2K egg. So now we just gotta try to land him before he gets pissed off and knows that I'm trying to trying to get him to that. And that's what I meant. This is why it pays to have sharp drag and 3x. Damn, this is a fighting fish. He is not screwing around. He's getting his roll on to smash me against the bottom. Oh. Tell you what, that wears out the forearms. There we go. All right, so we're gonna get back at it. I know that Owen and Scott are still downstream of me, probably getting into some fish. Look forward to hearing their stories, but we're up to three fish here, just in this little stretch alone, uh, and turn what was a relatively quiet day into a relatively productive day. Um, you know, again, just tight lining this section of water using that uh, 10 foot syndicate just trying to get it down on the bottom and dredge up any of these gorgeous stocked holdover fish and uh, some of these wild brownies so I'm gonna try to stick this palomino if he'll give me a give me a go earlier he turned on it but I couldn't get him to hit he just turned on it again. Uh, it's one of those things where palominos are such a problem fish because you get fixated on watching them and not what you do. You know, if anybody, if anybody's ever fished for them before, you know exactly what I'm talking about, that you get fixated on watching them in the water, moving back and forth, you know, whereas if they weren't there, you would be focused on your drift. In my case, focused on the... Uh, the, the mono rig and the cider and just tight lining it. Whereas with them there, you can't help but look at that banana in the water. All right, everybody, that's gonna end my, uh, my day here on the uh, Yellow Breaches, another highly successful day even in the dead of winter. Was able to drum up, I wanna say, about five or six fish, uh, hooked probably about twice that, uh, that's the way it goes. But nevertheless, it was really, really nice to share stream with PA Woods and Water as well as Osney Fishing Adventures. Uh, two guys that you should definitely check out their channels. If you subscribe to me, you know, lowly little me, then you probably watch their channel as well. But uh, I'll leave information for them either in the top 
or in the description. So thank you as always for your support. I appreciate, uh, you know, everybody commenting, liking, subscribing, you know, and just uh, asking questions and helping keep me on my toes. So